Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to work on a really simple line work alligator. This one is for you, Clayton. So, I'm going to start with a 260. I'm going to use green, good colors, right, for an alligator. Um, going to blow them up, inflate maybe a 5-6 inch tail left over. This one isn't always an exact science for me. So we're going to start at the nozzle end, like always. You can do about a three finger bubble. And then a one inch bubble and ear twist it. This part's actually going to be where his eyes get wedged in. And I like to put an ear twist underneath it so it kind of holds it in its place. And we're going to go back maybe about two inches. Squeeze it as you go. Make sure you're not making it too tight so that it doesn't pop. With fold twist, about three inches at its, at its um, length here. These are going to be his front legs. Do that one more time. I like to twist them together so that they don't come undone. So this is where we're at right now. And then I kind of look in to see how much tail I have and body I have left. So we're going to make his body next. I'm going to go about here. Give him maybe about a six inch bubble, six, seven inch for his body. Twist that off and then do two more of these loop twists. And this is where we're at here. Now, if you wanted a really, really basic version of this, instead of putting this ear twist in here, you can do two ear twists, I suppose. And then these would be his eyes. So you would color in the eyes here and then just leave the rest of the balloon like this. Give it a little curve. Um, I like to add a little bit more to it though. So I'm gonna add his scales. Let me call them scales. So take your second 260. You don't need this inflated very much, maybe halfway. Um, maybe a foot and a half here. Take the nozzle, wrap it in between the two front legs. And after you do that, I'd like to add an ear twist right there to secure it. So it'll go right there. I'm going to wrap it around too, just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Now I'm going to do a series of little bubbles till I get to the back tail. To the back legs, not to the back tail. These are just maybe one inch bubbles. Okay, and then twist those into the back two legs. Again, with that last bubble, I like to make it an ear twist just so that I know it's not going to go anywhere. You don't have to, but that's just how I do it. Now, with what's left over, you can cut it off, and this can just be his tail. Or, if I have a lot left over, I like to twist them together just to give it a little bit more character for his tail. Making a couple extra bubbles so I can rip it off and not lose the air. A couple more ear twists. Alright, and here we are so far with this. Now all he needs is some eyeballs. And we'll color in his teeth in just a minute. So take a water balloon. Just inflate it a little bit. If you inflate it too much, it's too hard to split in half because it gets to be way too big. So we split that in half. And right where this ear twist is, we're going to twist that in there. Ah! And I lost it. The one eye is losing ear. Let's try that again. Sometimes it happens. Water balloons aren't really the strongest of balloons that I've ever seen. Still had a little piece of that first one left. Okay, so now we've added in his eyes. Now, sometimes I like to roll the knot of the nozzle. Kind of gives it a little bit of a different shape. Loop, loop. 
And then we just go in and we color in his eyes. Okay, so here's where we're at with his eyes. And then I just draw little jagged teeth. And here you go. Here's our Here's our line work alligator. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon.